I have already shown two other methods to disable driver's signature verification but some people said those methods still didn't work for them so in this video I'm gonna show you another three methods to disable driver's signature verification so let's get started right click on the start click on run then type in gpedit.msc then click on OK. This would open for us the group policy editor. And now we need to go to user configuration. And there we need to go to administrative templates. Click to open the drop down. Then click on system. And then select driver installation. And the driver installation, you can see various options. So we need to select code signing for device drivers and if you click on edit policy setting it will give us various different options and all we need to do is to click from not configured to enabled and then here in the options we need to select from warn to ignore and then click on apply then click on ok and then you need to close this then you need to go here I need to go and restart your computer. After restarting the computer, you should be able to install any driver that doesn't have a digital signature. Once you did that, then I suggest you to right click and go and select run, go back to the same place, double click and then change it again to what it was before. Click apply, OK, close and then restart again and we should be back to normal if you're using windows 10 home edition to enable group policy please follow the video in the description for the next method we need to use powershell again so right click on the start and select windows powershell then copy this code from the description of this video and paste it in here and then press enter in this way we have permanently disabled driver signature enforcement so if you now close this and then go and restart your computer you should be able to install any drivers without signature but once you have installed and restarted your computer don't forget to go back to the PowerShell again and this time we need to use the second code which set non-integrity checks to off so come back here paste and press enter and the operation is completed once again you need to close everything and you need to restart your computer to make the changes to take place and the next step we would be also using powershell so right click in this powershell and go to the description of this video copy this code and paste it in here this would disable integrity checks so press enter the operation completed you can also apply set test signing on copy paste it here enter and that's also successful you should not forget to close it and then restore your computer to make the effects take place after you have restarted the computer install the driver don't forget to go back to the powershell and reverse back the changes by going and applying this new code if you press enter then it would enable integrated checks again and at the same time you need to also turn off test signing by copy and pasting this code and entering and running and make sure they are successful because there were permanent changes you have to restart your computer for them to take place i hope this video was useful if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel i hope to see you in my next video Bye-bye.